Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from the Kiwi Time Lord titled Calls Me an Idiot, then proceeds to ask how low I'll sell my listing for. Bit steep when I could get the one series for 300. Don't buy it then. Well, good luck, idiot. 300 for a first gen? What a joke. I'm in no rush, mate. It's Ono for a reason. Also, last time I checked, they're 370 pre-owned at EB, and don't come with batteries etc for the controller. Can't bargain there either. 250 Akashis! Thumbs up. What's your lowest you'll take? The lowest they'll take is clearly not what you're offering because you're not offering in the right ballpark for them to be willing to take your offer. This next one is by Belfoyu, titled, I'm an embroidery artist who never thought I'd meet one in the wild. He replied telling me I should learn how to do business. <laughs> Hello, I'm a YouTuber pulling more than 500,000 views per month. I would love to do a promotion for you. I'm a part-time graphic designer and video producer, so I'd love to make your promotion look amazing. My channel is currently growing fast, so I'm sure we would both benefit from this. With my influence, I think we can bring this to even higher level. Best regards, Radavan. Hey, sounds like an interesting idea. My pieces take hours to make and I'm currently not doing a giveaway. If you wanted to purchase a piece and promote, if I get 5 purchases from your promotion, example, they DM me and state a promo code we work out then I'll be happy to refund the price of the piece you purchased. No thanks. And this ladies and gentlemen shows that beggars definitely lie, especially when they say they're gonna do promotions and this and that. This is a promotion, plain and simple. It's a great one too that benefits both parties, but the choosing beggar, no, they have to do work, which is too much for them. This next one is from Bandana Rama, titled, Write my 457 page ebook for $10. I want a book, and the title fitness, and I want it done in one week. My budget is $10. If your budget's $10, I don't think you're going to get a book that's completely written for you, one, within a week, and two, that's 457 pages. This next one is by Gangster5677, titled, I can't believe he isn't giving away a house. Hey guys, I'm doing a giveaway. Why don't you give away a car or a house? You're giving away small stuff. Come on, big time. It amazes me to see people being ungrateful when they see a big name giving things away as if they could give away more, you know, but they forget to realize that big name doesn't have to give things away, period. They're choosing to do so. This next one is from The Froggy Horror titled, I'll Pay With Exposure. Exposure. Hello there. I seem to be interested in your commissions. Do you accept VTubers? If so, then can we communicate on a payment plan? I don't have any money with me right now, but I can show you out to my Twitch account that has 50,000 followers. I'm sure you will get a lot of exposure and people will commission you. Thanks in advance. Let me know if you're available. Hello there, yes I'm available for commissions, but I don't accept exposure or shoutouts for it because I need the funds. I'll have to decline your offer. No, you don't understand. I'm selective with the people who I offer this opportunity. Think about the exposure you'll get. Take the time to think. No thanks, I'm really not interested in working for free. Do you want me to expose you to my hundred of followers? How stingy you are. I'll expose you on Twitch so people won't commission your stingy ass. Goodbye. Well, you're saying you have 50,000 followers, so why would you say hundreds? You should say tens of thousands of followers, but hey, you know, that's, that's education for another day. <laughs> we already know choosing beggars aren't too bright. This next one is by Darius Skukas, titled, I'd be more than happy to have something better than my old 7. I really got an iPhone 11 Pro Max? When is the 12 coming out? God, I hate my fucking family so much. Why? Because they bought you a smartphone? Something you didn't have to pay for? Maybe it wasn't the exact one you wanted, but think about this. At least your family cares enough to get you something. If they see this, maybe in the future they'll think twice. 
This next one is by Gen9Nails titled, When You've Dealt With Too Many Choosing Beggars. I saw a sign in the shop yesterday that said, My prices are based on my talent, not your budget. I feel like everyone with a craft should have this sign. Barbers, photographers, makeup artists, tattoo artists, caterers, etc. I completely agree. I think anybody that provides a service for other people deserves to be paid for the service they provide, regardless what it is. Sadly, the beggars don't understand that, and I don't think they ever will. This next one is from Aquapoc, titled, Looking for a Room to Rent. Looking for a room to rent? My aunt decided to kick me out because I couldn't pay her one month's rent due to me wanting to see a movie instead. She's rich and needs the money more than I anyways. However, your home must be smoke free. No partying. No loud music. No friends over late. And significant others are allowed to live rent free. I will tolerate your pets so long as they are groomed and no pit bulls. Don't want to go there with you so don't waste your time. I will pay $150 a month in rent and split utilities. If you have a room and fit this description, please message me. Blank, can we set you up on Tinder? You obviously need something to do. <laughs> I get that if you want to rent a room, you might have preferences for the room you might rent and the environment that it's in. However, if you're going to be paying so little, I don't think you can make that list of demands and expect to get anything close to what you want. This next one is by FZJB, titled Oddly Specific. Hello, anyone giving out LG Smart TV 49 inch? Please reach out for me. Hilarious. <laughs> First time I see a post specifying brand, type, and size of product. Well done and good luck. I mean, on one hand, while you should be giving credit to the beggars for trying and not not trying, the other hand states that common sense says what they're trying will be denied anyway, so it's fruitless to try. This next one is by Peach Majestic, titled $2.27 an hour. Sounds great. Does anyone in this area watch kids? I'm looking for someone to watch my one year old. I want to start this transition from his current sitter to a new one around spring summer and he will be around one and a half by then. I'm looking for $100 or less a week that is available from 7.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Four days a week, no weekends. I will provide food and snacks throughout the day. You may be providing the food and snacks, but you're not providing the daycare, which is what the sitter is providing. You have to ask yourself, is there anything that you can cut from your own personal life that you can add more to that weekly budget because your child deserves nothing but the best in terms of care. You shouldn't cheap out on it. And our final one is by Bunk Amadeus titled, Selling a Guitar Cab Equals New Weed Man. My old guy and not doing it anymore. My former dude moved. Just desperately seeking a source. <laughs> Figure with musicians, it's a good bet you smoke and maybe you know a guy. Smoking resin's gotta stop. <laughs> well, it will shortly, cause I'll be out of even that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't help you, buddy. Not really in the game of helping strangers on the internet find drugs. Could use that money to buy this amp, though. Sends pick. Oh, you're selling your amp for a Q? <laughs> nah, good luck, buddy. Bah, so much for stoner community. Dude, you just solicited a stranger for weed over a used music gear post. Not exactly the time to take the intellectual high ground. You act like it's meth or coke. It's fucking pot, man. Get over it. Not the first time, it won't be the last, with the exception of friends starting to sell after you get them. Every single plug was a stranger when you started buying it from them. It's just pot, man. Calm your tits. Dude, buy my amp or fuck off. It couldn't get any clearer than that. I mean, literally, why would you go out of your way to solicit a complete stranger? Who's to say that person isn't an undercover cop looking to bust people doing this exact same thing? The chances are slim, but still, there's always a possibility. Alright, 
that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell. It really helps my channel out. And drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons. Have a great day and stay safe out there.